All right, basically it's saying that there is there was no DNS find uh, found. Do you want to configure this server as a DNS server? We're going to be using integrated DNS, so we're going to say yeah, automatically configure this as our DNS server. Hit next. It's going to say okay, um, is this a new domain or a, an existing domain? We're going to say this is a new domain in a new forest because right now we're assuming that we have nothing. Now. In my second video, I show you how to install an additional domain controller, and for that, we choose this role right here. So make sure you check out my other video as to how to install additional domain controllers um, into a forest. All right, so here we're going to use uh, the bottom option and hit next. Here it's asking us for a name. You got to make sure you have a uh, server name that you've, uh, uh, your domain name that you already have set up. You have to make sure it's a legitimate domain name because it's going to go out there and uh, check against it so you make sure you have something registered to you okay so I'm gonna use um, my domain name and we're gonna hit next and basically just check, checks to see if this name already exists or not then it's gonna use the the bios name alright so here it says uh, what functional uh, level do you need to set up so if you use Windows 2000 that means that um, uh, this uh, Active Directory is compatible with uh, servers in your domain that are running a 2000 mode uh, obviously if you click here you got 2003 and 2008 mode that's for backward compatibility as to what services can and uh, cannot run uh, if you wanna fully utilize all of the features of uh, Active Directory then and you have no other servers the older servers in your network then you want to go ahead and choose uh, 2008 so we're just going to choose this at a 2008 functional level because there are going to be new features and new roles and uh, uh, newer things in here that the older servers are not going to have uh, the functionality that the old servers do not have so we want to utilize the new functionality so in but in your environment you really need to make sure what if you have older uh, operating systems then you definitely want to choose the other roles I'm gonna hit next alright so what's gonna do what what this is gonna do is it's asking us uh, we're gonna configure uh, DNS server on here and we're gonna configure catalog uh, the global catalog because this is the first domain controller within a uh, new forest it's gonna install a global catalog which is basically like a database of every object within the network so um, yeah we definitely want that you wanna continue we're gonna say yes here it's going to go ahead and create um, it's going to tell us where the databases are going to go the sys volume you know, that's where all the security um, uh, security objects and re information about the actual directory will go you get the database here that's where the databases are going to go so you hit next now it's asking you for a password in case you need to restore this is going to be a different password um, you can keep it the same or different doesn't matter but it's a newer password it wants you to ask, uh, set up Gonna hit next. All right, so we have all our information. Uh, it's gonna create our first default site here. It's gonna create our server 2000. This is gonna be the functional level. This is our domain name. It's gonna uh, uh, create DNS for us and so on and so forth. So we're just gonna go ahead and hit. Uh, now, if you want to do an unattended installation in the future, uh, and if you want to use this information, you can say export settings, and it'll create a text file with all that information that we uh, set up, and you can specify that and point your unattended installation text file to here, and it'll help um, uh, just re use that information. That's just for you to, you know, if you want to use that or not. We're going to hit cancel. We're going to hit next. And this is going to go through and set up our... Uh, Active Directory for us uh, and our domain and so on and so forth. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and click here. It's gonna reboot after it's done. So right now, as you can see, it's gonna set up DNS and then it's gonna set up uh, Active uh, uh, Active Directory and all the other services. This takes a while. So what I'm gonna do is I'll go ahead and pause this video, and uh, once it's completed, I'll go ahead and uh, uh, resume it again. So we're going to go ahead and log back into it and just make sure everything is working. It's asking, as you can see here, it's changed now. 
Um, and so it's the domain and now the administrator. Well, remember the administrator account that we originally created? Well, your password that we originally created, that is your now new domain administrator account. So we're just going to use that same password. All right, so it's going to go ahead and log into the server. All right, so here, uh, if you can see what Active Directory and DNS roles are automatically installed, and along with it, it automatically chose the appropriate features and so on and so forth. So I installed everything on, uh, on here. So at this point, you would also want to go ahead and configure remote desktop because obviously you don't want to keep logging into the server and check things. You want to go ahead and uh, log into it remote. All right, so I'm done with this window. I'm going to click on Do Not Show This Window at Logon. That's just my preference. You don't have to do that. Click OK and the server manager window automatically opens up. Now here what we can do is you can just verify everything. See so here Active Directory Domain Services, DNS, all that stuff is installed. I'm going to click on under roles and we have Active Directory Domain Services and DNS roles. I'm going to click on the plus next to the Active Directory. Okay. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and come to the click on the uh, the plus next to the Active Directory site and services and I want to drill down under my site and come to my uh, default first site name now that is the automatic this is automatically created for you and it's automatically named as your first default site it's gonna do that automatically okay and here you go you can see the uh, domain controller in here well, it calls it the default site first site name. You can change that to make it easier for yourself. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and rename this. And for example, if this first domain controller was going in at, at your corporate or at your headquarters at whatever your location is called, that's what you want to name this, okay? So I'm going to call this corporate. So we'll assume that we're at corporate. And there you go. So now it makes it easier. So now that's there. We're going to click on the Active Directory Computers. As you can see, that's my domain name. You click here, and there you go. These are all your, this is your Active Directory you're looking at right now. So I'm going to, what I'd like to do is I click on View. I click on Advanced Features and so on and so forth. So there you go. Now we have our, all of our uh, folders in here. Some of the stuff was, like I said, it's, uh, this is Advanced View. Some of the stuff was hidden. And now you can just continue from here. You can, you know, double click, uh, new, start creating organization units, groups, users, whatever you want. Uh, you can go ahead and start doing that here. We can come down to DNS and make sure DNS is set up correctly. Yep, there you go. So DNS is set up correctly too. So now every every other uh, other workstation, domain controller, secondary domain controllers, whatever you want to member servers, whatever you install, will go ahead and start using this DNS server. And that would be it. So uh, this is how you would go ahead and set up your Active Directory first domain controller. So just to recap, make sure make sure you rename your uh, dom uh, domain, uh, the uh, server, give it a static IP address, uh, install Active Directory services, and then you run um, DC Promo, it'll automatically install the uh, first integrated DNS for you. Um, and then once you do all that, it logs in and then you have your um, uh, domain controller all set up for you. Uh, if you also notice, this will have all the, uh, because this is the first domain controller, it'll also have all the FISMO roles uh, automatically set up here. So we have the, the RID, the uh, PDC emulator, you get the infrastructure role on here. This is also a global catalog. This is also this is all going to be a, uh, the uh, schema masters and the domain naming service are also on here. So all FISMO roles are on here. And that would be it. So this is how you would set up your first um, domain controller. Now, if you need to know how to set up the secondary domain controller, you can go ahead and check out my other video as to how to set up a secondary domain controller. Alright guys, thanks for watching.